come in and work hard and do the right things, you know, guys will, you know, they'll respect you off, off the top. Two questions. One, how do you think you did today? And two, what do you think you got to move work for moving forward? I think I did well. You know, obviously the thing about fall camp is being consistent, you know, day in and day out. That's the big thing. You know, that's what they're looking at. But as far as today, mentally, you know, I knew what I was doing. I knew where to go with the ball, you know, where my check downs were and things like that. You know, obviously I can be a little cleaner in my reads and things like that. But as far as, you know, just the overall grasp of everything and the offense, I feel like I did well. How'd you do with the pace and tempo out there? I saw a couple of bros on the sidelines uh, grabbing their knees and breathing pretty heavy. How'd you do? Uh, I did pretty well. You know, you know, Coach E, you know, did a good job of getting us ready in some conditioning. I felt like, you know, I had pretty good wind out there. And I saw you bust a couple of where you escaped. That's your big deal? Or is yeah, just when, you know, sometimes the defense is going to win. You know, those guys are on scholarship too, and I feel like, you know, that's that's when I really turn into a different different playmaker. But a lot of talk about your throwing ability. How do you feel with your arm, man? I feel very confident. You know, I'm a quarterback first, you know, and just the playmaking ability is something that I was blessed with extra. So, you know, I try to sit in the pocket, make my reads. You know, if, if I'd rather check down to my running back before I take off and run. So. That's just the way I view things, and you know, I view myself as a quarterback. Well, one thing that definitely stands out to me sitting here talking to you, you seem like a leader. You talk well. Yes, it, it's a pleasure sitting here talking to you. Talk about your leadership ability. Well, I feel like you know, leadership is something that's earned over time. You know, obviously, when you get in, when I come into a program, you know, when I first got here, I couldn't just come in, you know, demand things from guys and things like that. You know, you kind of have to earn your respect and earn your stripes, and you know, you, they have to see you working hard, you know, day in and day out before they'll buy into what you're saying. So. I feel like, you know, over as time has gone on, I've been able to be more vocal with my teammates, and I feel like they've bought into me. And you got some weapons to throw the ball to yes, here definitely. at the university with Drez, a thousand yard catcher last season, Kaylin Clay, Ken Scott, Dom Hatfield, a whole slew of guys to throw the ball to. Talk about this receiving core. Well, you know, it's great. You know, obviously, you know, with, with the offensive system we have set in place, you know, just to have those guys out there, you know, especially with the running backs we have, we have some good, good running backs as well. So, uh, as long as you know the O-line protects and the receivers get open, you know the scheme will take care of itself. We just have to execute. How was the pro today? It was great. Yeah, it was great. Do you think there will be much difference in the style of play here in the Pac-12 from where you were before? I wouldn't say the style of play. Maybe different style of defenses maybe. You know, obviously because you know, most of the Pac-12 teams are spread. You know, obviously the Big 12 got some spread teams as well. But the Pac-12, you know, you've got the spread with the mobile quarterbacks. And so I feel like, you know, you'll see a little bit of different defenses, but, you know, overall, I feel like it's the same caliber of, of, of play. 